So that's and this is a guide about how to kill Bork. Bork is an NPC that can be killed once per day. Um, the main reason you'd want to kill him would be the large amount of summoning charms he drops every time you kill him. He also gives a tiny bit of Slayer XP and can drop clue skulls. So this is just a suggestion of what to wear for your equipment. Um, I'm sure whatever you use for normal combat will generally be okay, but I know all of you don't have the spandos and stuff, so I thought I'd use cheap gear just to show anyone can do it. Plus, it's in the wilderness, so you might not want to take all your expensive stuff. You'll need an anti-dragon shield because you have to run past dragons there, and otherwise you can just hit like 450 on you, so you may as well take one. Um, the Zarodome and Bro and the Phoenix Necklace is just in case anyone tries to PK me. Um, Sarah Brew heals you and you can eat that with fish at the same time, so it's fast healing. And the Phoenix Necklace, it heals you once you get below 20% of your HP, so it just makes it harder for people to kill me. You do have to go into the wilderness for a little bit to get there. You could use other equipment other than what I'm using with high prayer bonus if you want to save on prayer potions. Like you could use proselyte armor instead of rune armor. I want to put all my equipment I'm using and my inventory in the description. You are going to want to leave a few free inventory spaces because you need to pick up the drops and Sometimes you don't eat up, end up eating all the fish. Dragon Dagger isn't really necessary, but I'm taking it just to help a little bit. So there's almost that, and I'm just going to get glory to Edgeville. So you just go northwest from Edgeville. And then it's in the low level wilderness right here. You have to climb down a rope and if you are in combat or you have been in combat in the last 10 seconds you won't be allowed down. So keep that in mind if someone tries to attack you. You won't be able to escape down this hole. You have to just run out of the wilderness straight away. Or tell you. This is the shortest route to get there. I Sometimes the portals in the chaos tunnel they tell you to the wrong place which can be quite chaotic hence the name so this next room dust devils you probably know how to get to but don't attack them because if you're not wearing a slay helm or something like that to protect you from the dust your stats will get lowered and it will ruin your whole, whole trip you have to go back and restore your stats. So that's why I had the anti dragon shield. So that didn't attack me. And then I'm just gonna equip this and pot up. This next room is the last room and if you do die your gravestone will appear on that last portal. So there's a little cutscene for Bug. So there's going to be a mage here that it attacks you about every 20 seconds, which is about every 6 hits the bug does. This dragon dagger didn't actually help that much, but sometimes it really does. So you're just going to want to pray melee. And you should only have to eat when the mage hits you. Now, once he gets down below two thirds health, as this hap is happening, he will summon his oak, eh, orc legions, and they attack with melee and range, but they are quite weak. 
his Oak Legions do not have to be killed. But they will drop charms as a drop, guaranteed. So, I think it's worth killing him. So, because the mage hits about every 20 seconds or 6 or 7 hits, you can try and time that and then protect against the um, spell with Protect Mage. And that's what I'm going to try and do on the next one, next time it hits it. If you hear the spell, it's too late to swap. You don't need to protect against it, but you can if you want. It, you should be able to get by just fine. I don't actually need the prayer potions, but some of you will definitely need them. I used to need them when I was first doing this as a level level. You can see the um, Oak Legions have dropped charms for me, which is good. So, finally killed him now. Just gonna pick up the drops. The Mage Telly's away, so you don't have to kill him. And that's it over. You will get 250 Slayer XP there, just for killing him. I'm gonna pick up the drops and teleport out with my Alduka Cape. If you stay in there too long, rocks will c come down from the ceiling, and you do take damage. So you may as well get out there pretty fast. So that's why I like to have my Ardugna Cape. I can tell you out and recharge with prayer. And then it's ready for the next day. So hope this helped you. Thanks for watching.